What's up everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a resource pack for Minecraft. Now resource packs can be used to change the textures of the game, or sounds, or basically anything you want. You can change the name of items if you want, but for now I'm just going to be changing like pictures and the textures. Okay, to start out, I'll usually just make a folder on my desktop. It can be anywhere. Um, you can make it in the folder for Minecraft, but I'll just be making it on my desktop. I'm just going to call this one tutorial pack and place it right there. Now my wallpaper has been glitching because I deleted it. I'm going to change it. It doesn't matter right now. But get tutorial pack and then you can either press Windows R or search up run. But for now, I'll just press Windows R. Search up percent app data percent and click OK. That's going to open up Gabriel's. Well, it's going to open up your name app data roaming. OK, then do dot Minecraft and go to versions so right now the newest version of minecraft is 1.16.4 so that's what i'm going to use double click on that and copy the jar into your texture pack folder after that you can extract it now i'm using winwar win winrar but you can use anything you want some people use 7 zip um personally i use winrar because i like it and it's free after 30 days you'll start getting these things about it that you can't use it but you'll still be able to use it so i just use this okay okay destination path and just keep it named as 1.16.4 is fine and click okay now it's extracting but you can't see it because you see it's up here and now it's going to start extracting i'll come i'll be back when it's done Okay, now that it's done extracting, go into 1.16.4, control A, and click asset. Okay, control A, and control click assets. That'll remove it from, from all this other stuff. Now, you don't need anything but assets. So once you have everything clicked except assets, you can right click on it and do delete. I'll be back when it's done. Okay, now that it's done deleting, you can go into the assets folder. And you can click on Minecraft and textures. And these are everything that you can choose from. So for now, I'll just click item. Yeah, I'll do item. And I will do a apple. So I'll click on the apple. And what I use is paint.net. It does cost like, I think $1, but you can also use Photoshop. But I'll show you how to resize it in paint.net. So you can go to paint.net. And it'll open up. Okay. And now I can color on it. All right, let's see. So I'll pick up this. Change it to like uh, green maybe. And I'll just color a basic thing over here. Okay, now I've colored a basic thing, and I want to say something about it. So, um, Minecraft texture files are actually, the size is 16, 16 by 16 pixels. And that's like way too small for any other pictures. So if you want to like import a picture from like Google or something, you cannot import it like this. Now in Photoshop, it's this, basically the same thing if you know how to use it, but I'll show you how to do it right now inside of Paint.net. Go to image, resize, and I'll do 256 by two, 256 by 256 pixels. Press OK. Grab this. And you see it's resized it to this. Now I'll go on Google. Let's drag it here. And I'll search up cool apple texture. Minecraft, search that up, press OK, go to images, and I'll use this copy image and I'll paste it into here. Now, I'll always do keep canvas size because you don't want it to be some random canvas size that you don't want to use, and then hold shift as you resize it down. What is that? I'm gonna paste it back in because something isn't working. 
hold shift as you resize it like that. I'll place it in the middle right there. And I'll do control S. It'll save it. Boom, now it's saved. After that, go back into your folder. So I'll go right here. And that's all I'm gonna do for now. And go out. Then create a new text document and don't do anything. And then go and I'll get you guys the pack.mc meta file for it. Okay guys, now that I got the pack.mc meta, I'll click on it and I'll paste it in there and make sure the pack format is six because that is 1.16.4. And newer versions, it won't be 6. It'll probably be higher than 6. But yeah, that's it. And yeah, tutorial pack is good. And I'll do control S. It's saved. And then make sure you rename it to pack. And instead of dot text, do dot MC meta. Oops. I press caps lock right at the end. And you press yes okay now this pack.mc meta file is gonna show like what pack format it is like what what version it's made for and the name and then you can just put in like any picture for now i'll grab the one that i just used so go to textures it was item i'll copy that and i'll paste it here but I'll rename it to pack.png. So now you have the pack.mc meta and the pack.png. Now with, I'm gonna use obviously what's it called. Um, I'm gonna use WinRAR for this, but you can use anything as I said before. Highlight all of them and do add to archive and make sure it's a zip, it has to be zip. And I'll do 1.16.4, I'll do Tutorial.zip. Tutor, okay. Now it's zipping it up. I'll be back when it's done. Okay, now that it's done, I'm back. And you see, I have this tutorial.zip. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Minecraft. Give me a second. that here okay now it's impact launcher i'm not going to use that let's do the latest release it's 1.16.5 dang it okay so it looks like they made one for 1.16.5 i haven't seen that yet so i'm pretty sure the pack resource is the same thing but i'll just click play okay now that minecraft is open i'll click options oh resource packs and here we go, almost done. Click open pack folder and copy this tutorial.zip, okay? Tutorial.zip and copy that to the folder that just opened up. Oh, some stuff in the background, okay? It should come up. Okay, test.zip, I don't remember that tutorial.zip that's the pack tutorial pack click that and click done sometimes it lags like that it lags but it should work now done click single player i'll just make a new one since there's a new version of minecraft i'll create it Okay, <sighs> joining world, and let's see, we're in a world right now. Everything looks the same, right? No blocks are broken. Let's grab an apple, and here we go. Now, since I used like a trash texture from Google, it's gonna look like this, 
but if you can find a good texture that you want that you like you can use a different one for now i'm just using this apple now it looks fine if you're gonna make like a bed wars pack or something it's fine and you can change blocks i didn't do a tutorial on that but if you want me to drop a comment and i'll do a tutorial on how to change blocks which is like basically the same and write in the comments guys if you want me to do a tutorial on how to change the name of the item which is slightly harder and you need to do some other stuff thanks for watching everybody bye